Well, today we are going to be accompanied by some background noise from kids around, and uh, that's okay because that shows that uh, there is life. Nevertheless, we're doing this series where we're discussing the question, does purpose evolve? The answer is yes, it does. And not only does purpose evolve, but you also, you will evolve at one point in time or another. But we're also going further and asking ourselves, how do we get to catch the current of the evolution of purpose individually in our lives? How do we position ourselves so that we can leverage the evolution of our purpose? Remember, the purpose evolves, you evolve, the both of you does evolve and, you know, increase in nature and so on and so forth. How do we leverage that? That's what we're discussing. We've already done three ways in which you can be able to do this. I'm going to do a recap for you. Then we're going to get down into the fourth one. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Life Signatures episodes are brought to you by AfricanBooks.com, which is an online ebook platform that seeks to broadcast the African Christian voice to the world. As such, they have become a hub for African content, connecting African writers and publishers with a global reading audience. Publishing your books on their site is free and easy, with authors having full control over their content and the price they choose to sell at it. I was personally blown away by the concept that AfricanBooks.com is coming up with. Things like no content from their site or their app is going to be run on laptops so that people can easily copy. In other words, your content as a writer is restricted from digital multiplication or digital copying. So you remain intact with your information. Another concept that I got so blown away with was the fact that in some time to come, in due course, AfricanBooks.com will be starting to announce African Writer of the Year. In other words, there will be competitions in all African countries to figure out who is the best published author. And I also fell in love with the fact that countries can actually compete against each other. You can have African authors going at it after each other. And your book as an author will be reviewed and have some stars and recommended upon that particular platform. The thing is that it's an answer to Amazon.com. You know, with Amazon, what happens? You've got to have an account in the Americas or whatever, or in Europe before you can get paid as an author. But here, the local currency is in play and the local means of getting paid are in play. So to get started, go to AfricanBooks.com as an author or as a publisher and even as a reader if you wanted to read your African favorite authors. Enjoy. Purpose is putting something into use according to the intention of the designer or the originator or the creator. If I have a phone and I am using the phone specifically as was designed by Samsung or by Apple or by Huawei, then that phone is serving its purpose. But if I take that particular phone and I repurpose it and I use it in a different way, 
and it works successfully not in the intention that it was created to do then that is not the purpose of the phone at least from the angle of the intended person who created it or the designer who created it or the creator who came up with it how much more the human being the human being is interesting because you do not have 200 years to be alive you have one life you have one heart you have one spirit and you have one purpose to fulfill and many people will tell you oh there are very many purposes i can be a father i can be an uncle those are not purposes that is not purpose purpose is the intention one thing that you are intended to do like you will say i was created to be a deliverer of course as a deliverer you also a father an uncle a son all those things maybe a manager but the core theme of your existence that's purpose it is deliverance i'm just using that as an example it does evolve you knowing what it is you will not know it when you're born you will not know it when you graduate unless of course you have set yourself to intentionally find out what it is some of us we are so hell bent on finding out why are we alive why were we created how come we did not die at birth how come we did not die before we were born how come we were conceived in the first place is it a chance is it a coincidence or is it a design is it this intricate thing this intricate details that we have and this uh, gifts and talents that we we carry along is it a coincidence is just a, a by the way or there is a design or there is an intention behind it i tend to think for the most part there is an intention behind it and by the time you discover what your purpose is there's going to be some kind of evolution by the time you own that particular purpose there's going to be some kind of evolution and by the time you start deploying it there's also going to be some kind of evolution so your purpose does evolve even from the day of discovery how do you position yourself so that you can be able to get into this purpose and its evolution number one be in motion while you are seeking because we've said you will not know your purpose at birth you will not know your purpose when you graduate from primary school or high school probably you will not unless you are intentional about it but you're going to come to that place where you decide to seek it remember we said this the asking there's the seeking and then there's the knocking asking is you have no clue you're praying seeking is i want to know i want to know i want to know where is it and you start looking knocking is using whatever you have right now if you have uh, some task to do you do it so you don't stay back and don't do nothing because you're seeking your purpose so number one, if you're going to evolve with your purpose start with where you are be in motion it is easy to be in motion and pick up things and to sit back and wait for things to come to you purpose is mostly discovered than it is revealed so number one, be in motion while seeking number two, be patient but stay focused the biggest problem that we have is impatience we, we we our impatience is predicated on the fact that we want to earn from our purpose so after 30 days there is no earning we want to jump onto the next fad that comes the next shiny object that comes along and we want to do it and it doesn't work that way purpose is long haul in fact purpose is a lifetime thing you don't graduate from purpose and go and do other things and you don't you know do your purpose and then when you are 60 you build a foundation Lawrence Namale foundation no you you start your foundation now and you build the rest of your life on it so be patient but stay focused and then we said number 3 yesterday you keep learning the moment you discover what your purpose is that's the moment you start earning your master's degree in your purpose nobody is going to examine you nobody is going to give you a phd nobody is going to give you a gown nobody is going to hold a graduation party nobody is going to give you all these things lessons and so on but on a daily basis you are the student you are learning from life you are reading you are exploring you are researching everything there is about your purpose what else is there for you to do other than to do that if you have discovered that your purpose is in communication communicating uh, making people communicate properly what do you do you immerse yourself into that you do researches in that what are the best ways that people can be able to communicate how can i be able to uh, reach people who are this way or people who are that way people who have this dispositions how can i create rapport you do a master's degree in learning your purpose today let us look at one more thing that you can be able to do so that you can evolve with your purpose number 4 don't wait for perfection to deploy one of the biggest problems that we have is to wait for everything to be perfect 
everything to be square every t to be crossed and every i to be dotted before we get started let me tell you something evolution doesn't recognize perfection evolution doesn't recognize perfection there's this saying good better best do not let it rest until the good is better and the better the better is best how do you describe best you use the previous and even what you're describing best today can be best tomorrow good better best not let it rest until the good is better and the better is best there will always be the first time to do something with your purpose there will it will be with the first time i wrote an article it was bizarre if you can go to life signatures dot life and you go on the blog section and you scroll down to the very first article that i wrote in 2010 it was a small paragraph i was talking about fear small paragraph and uh, ever since it wasn't perfect but let me tell you i celebrated that article like <laughs> this is the best achievement that i had at that moment in time it was there's always going to be the first time to do something and the first time you do something is not going to be perfect very many people are afraid to do things because they want perfection to come before they get started perfection comes as you go it doesn't come when you uh, have gathered everything there is to gather and then you start it comes as you go because how how does this happen it happens because you keep evolving and you keep learning and you keep reintroducing the things that you've learned into the new thing that you're doing and you keep evolving and iterating and pivoting and doing all those things in fact perfection never comes you can always be better they will always be the first time to do something on my first coaching session i never had any experience any certification nothing i just had passion that was it i just wanted people to learn some things i wanted people to increase their potential and to maximize their potential my passion was connected to me and to those who at that moment in time were massively impacted by the way that i taught them by word of mouth they started telling other people that hey this guy is a coach this guy is a coach and we started having sessions in the evening after classes i mean after work at restaurants did i have a certification no i just had passion was it perfect no it wasn't but i can tell you it served those people they still when we meet they still refer to those days they said you changed my life i thought i was living i wasn't i was living my life by default not by design so their lives were impacted because i started even when i wasn't perfect don't wait for perfection so that you can start deploying perfection never comes with your evolution just do what you can be able to do today And I think one of my greatest achievements in life is to start a coaching practice that gained referrals. <laughs> Over a couple of days people were referring and referring and referring and every time I coached people I used to get this feedback. I wish someone taught me these things earlier. So don't wait to be perfect. Get started. And I learned that perfection is a mirage but growth is always in the next try. Go for growth. Don't look for perfection. In fact, the people who look for perfection will never deploy anything. I tell you, we can paralyze ourselves with analysis. But if we have this mindset that I'm going to grow, I'm starting there's this thing they call the lean startup. You just start lean and then you're going to mature as you keep going. That's how your purpose evolves also. So tomorrow we are going to close This series we have been talking about does your purpose evolve and we've been talking about how can you position yourself so that you can be able to evolve with your purpose until then bye bye Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.lisyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.